Good morning. I thought I'd make an update of my carnivorous plant collection. We'll start off here with my nurse tank. In this tank I put uh, plants that don't seem to be doing too well through lack of humidity. As you can see this is a large tank uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 50 gallons. And I've got a tray of water with some bubblers going and lights and some covers here and that keeps the humidity in the tank at about 90 percent and I have not had any trouble with mold or anything like that and let's take a look inside what I have in here now are some cuttings Nepenthes cuttings that I got this past winter and uh, I normally keep those in bags to keep their humidity up but now I've taken the bags off and I'm going to transition them to lower humidity. They did real well for a while and then stopped growing. I was afraid they were dead. But since I've had them in here, they're looking better. And this stupid camera, when I zoom in video mode, it takes forever to refocus. But it does eventually refocus sometimes. Anyway, those are uh, some of the Pinthes cuttings. There's the cat in the background doing what cats do. And this is working quite well. I, I'm real happy with that. There is also some water. You can see it there. Some water in the bottom of the tank. And that's basically condensation and spills and whatnot. And it works quite well. Like I said, I've had no mold. No other problems. This is another cutting that I got this spring and it has really taken off. You can see that it's formed new leaves, it's even got tiny pictures started. It's ready to start hardening off to lower humidity, which I'm going to start right away. So that's the nurse tank. It's working quite well. So let's go over, sorry about that, to the plant rack. And there is the whole of the grow rack. And you can see that right now my room humidity is about 41%, and that's not too bad. These are mostly intermediate type Nepenthes, so they do quite well in that humidity. We'll start off here on the top row and go from left to right. That Capensis, I've had it for a while and it's just not doing much. That's an easy beginner's type sundew. I thought I'd get another one. And it's just not doing much. I'm going to have to uh, culture some fruit flies, I think, and start feeding them. And you can see the Mexican butterworts. That's a pirouette. Those are mostly pirouettes. Although that one in the back on the right is a Titan. That's the my last Titan that I've got left. Other than some babies that I've started from leaf cuttings that you can see. This group of babies is pirouettes. And this is Titans. So I'll have some to trade before too long. And we've got some small sundews. Capensis spatulata there in the back. There's an Elysia, Obavada, Ivan's Paddle. I thought that one had died, and uh, it came back from the dead, so I'm really happy about that. We've got a uh, Vinata. I believe that is a Multifida Extrema, so I'll be anxious to see that when it matures. And here's another carnivore. And uh, that one makes a lot more noise than the rest of them do, but that's another story. And here's the, uh, this is a Capensis Giant leaf cutting that I got from a friend on the forum. And it's doing quite well. 
director of Sarah Latari doing well and I've took some uh, outside I've got a Depensis by Nada Marston's Dragon outside where it belongs took some flower stalk cuttings a couple of months ago and you probably can't see here but they have struck there's lots of strikes in there lots of new sprouts and uh, those will be ready to go to various friends and possibly some forum giveaways uh, there's a uh, Pingicula Agnata and here's a few more starts from that Capensis Giant you can see that did fairly well it's a very hardy easy to grow plant the Capensis is I've never had the giant form before so we'll see how that goes and that's more of the same uh, African violets really like the grow rack and here's a young ventricosa that's picturing well this is a uh, sanguinea orange I got that as a cutting over the winter and you can see that it's picturing for me now which I'm quite pleased with more Depenthes. I got a couple of basils going down there at the base. You can see one of them. The other one's hidden. Hopefully I'll be able to separate that before too awful long. And we'll go down here to the second rack on the left. And I got this Nepenthes Maxima Alata hybrid. Oh, sometime over the winter. And as you can see, it seems to be quite happy. It's starting a new pitcher. We got pitchers going. Here's a uh, brand new pitcher. The first pitcher totally to develop in my care, actually. And that's a nice size pitcher. I like this spotting. And you can see the nice wings. I like the modeling. I'm actually, it's on a long woody stem, it's actually rooted in the back pot there. I'm trying to do some air layering, trying to get the crown to root so I can separate it. Eh, we'll see how it goes. And there's the Ventrata. Very common, but pretty plant, easy to grow. And some other miscellaneous Nepenthes that I've gotten another new picture forming. These actually are not carnivorous plants. These are butterfly bush. I've taken some cuttings of different butterfly bushes that I've come across and I'm trying to get them going. And that seems to be working pretty well. I've got some starts. These are some more sanguineous. More orange actually. I got these cuttings a couple of months ago. I've been kind of worried about them. You can see the leaves are turning yellow but the dormant nodes are finally starting to activate so hopefully hopefully they'll do all right once I get the cuttings out of the nurse tank the older cuttings out of the nurse tank I'm gonna put these in there and hopefully hopefully they'll uh, work out all right this is a Nepenthes Judith Finn and I don't want to disturb it too much but you can see the new new pictures forming and here's this picture was had already started when I got it so that's not completely new within my care but the rest of these are and you can see I'm getting a little bronzing on the new leaves so that's nice and back here is my Alata another easy to grow beginners type Nepenthes but I like them because they picture quite profusely as you can see some of the older pictures are dying off, that's common. I'll cut those off before long. Now if I'd had enough brains to get these cuttings out of here, I could have moved this around. But anyway, there's a new picture forming. It'll open up in a few more days. I hate to see the old ones die, but that's all part of it. Cool stuff. Anyway, that's the update for the grow rack.
for July 7th. No, it's uh, July 29th, actually, 2012. Sorry about the shaky camera. Hope you didn't puke all over the floor watching it. Anything interesting happens in the next couple of months or so, I'll make another update. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the comments. See ya.